Hey guys, here to share another game with you today. It's called War Islands, developed by B Dubba Vision. Link will be in the description if you're interested. Alright, so here's, here's the settings we got to work with. You have access to multiplayer, assuming you, ha assuming you have somebody to play with. Currently, like, not many people seem to own this game, so you'll have to find a friend or something if you want to try that feature. A uh, new game. <clears throat> Got solo split screen, online with friends, or online public. never thought there was such a thing as other worlds. I mean, my dad used to say that. Maybe because of his job? <sighs> Who knows? <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm saying this. Well, let's just say that I accidentally got into some of his worlds. So, here I am, trying to unfold his secrets. Should I even call them? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I'm somehow talking to beavers. Yeah, I don't get it either. Come in. Wake up, sleepyhead! We're arriving at War Islands! Whoa! Is this where we had our first contact? I mean, humans and Davers? First contact? I don't know, but I can tell you one thing. I know a person that can help you find what you're looking for. Still thinking about Sarsi. Mm. Yeah. I miss him. Well, at least you know he's in good hands. That bear is special to me. I'm here. What's up? Oh, there you are. I would like to introduce you to... Jonathan. Look, he's a human just like you. Uh, hi, Amika. Well, hi, you. How come I've never seen you on the ship before? Oh, yeah, he kind of sleeps a lot. Dude! No, uh, look, he needs your help. Uh, maybe you guys could team up? Huh. Sure. But how exactly can I help you? It's... it's hard to explain, but we can talk when we get there. Third-person game, incredible graphics for an indie experience. Got your three characters: uh, Jonathan, Sarsi, and Almeka. This is pressing tab to get to your stat screen. There's like collectibles, frogs, and notes. Quest your skills. Did you find like? Um, jewels around to be able to get these, and once you do, you're able to um, take, take the point back off and get another skill. So say, once you get the point for this character, if you learn Piercing Arrow, anytime you want, you can take the point off of Piercing Arrow and then add it to Roof Ridge or such. The current skills that are currently white over here, you already have, you already have access to. So yes.
I, I do love how the maps like in, map is in real time. You can see like all the little stuff that's going on. This shit shows the three the three symbols of where your characters are. Of course, purple is Amaka, the little red crossbow is Jonathan, and the yellow Paul Fang is the bear. This, this flag here, like you need to, you need to be somewhat close to these for your characters to respawn if they die in the various ways which are possible. You also need to be near them if you want to upgrade your character skills. There's a flag right there. Death is not really too punishing in this game. This game is a, is a puzzle game. It's like, uh, I just want to like die, die and show you that. There you go, Megalodon. I, 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 it's like, I love that giant, evil, man-eating shark. In any case, um, your, your, your main character, your main character, your, your, or your character here has a crossbow. You can use it to shoot things. Point the way. All right, over here, girl, is the spell cap, spell cap the girl? Freaking the jumping power on these people, I tell you. And you got the bear. We all love the bear. Right. Take the lead. You can also, you can also ride the bear. Let's get going. All right. Long time. No see. Get it? See? Get it? No. Anyone? Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so I'm not really gonna get too far into this because you know, be a puzzle game is one of those types of genres which you really want to experience yourself. You just lose a good portion of the experience if you Pass me over the note. And if you watch other people do it, it's kind of the same with horror. Just like walk around and look at this beautiful world. And I could get out there, but there's not much point. The developer did such a wonderful job on this. Alright, you see the arrow right here, and it indicates that you can cross. It's easier to see the line during the day, but you can barely see the, the cutoff point right there around where my bow and arrow is in the water. But basically, to the, here to the left, you can uh, walk across without getting mauled by the shark. Ready for action! Sometimes the air doesn't want to follow you, that kind of annoys me, but it's not really a massive problem. This might be useful. Maybe I should go back to the base. Alright, so now that I picked up that thing with Jonathan. Point the way. Ready for action. All right, so now that 
work out real now that I unlock the rope for its skill. Hit me my main thing. Keep the thing light up with red and shoot it. So it is a pretty simple simple puzzle game. It's not really that complex to figure out. Our goal, our goal right now is to get over here. As you can see, and uh, open up the map, the, the blue scrolly thing over there is our main, is our quest. So we have to get across the bridge to achieve that. So we have to lower the drop bridge somehow. Hmm. Looks like the fourth bridge is up. How are we supposed to get there? Any ideas? Amika? Sassy? Oh! Maybe you can do something with your arrows. Yeah, sure. I'll see what I can do. Use Jonathan's arrows to trigger a fence. Alright, it might not be difficult to see at nighttime. There's a switch right up there to the left of that torch. It lights up when you uh, do that. Bullseye! Nice one, John. May I call you John? Up to you. Actually, everyone back in high school called me that way, so it's fine. Really. Oh, that's great. So John it is. Alright, so now I'm on the floor. You will die if you jump down there, just so you know. Oh, finally you guys are here. Come here, uh, uh outsider. See? I told you they were Shut coming. Up. Not finished. So, as I was saying, we were surrounded by the Darn Cat army during the night. And for some reason, our lighthouse is broken. Okay, so we have talking beavers and an army of cats? No, we're not beavers. We, we hate beavers. Well, what about your ex wife? Shh, shh, shut up. Get, get out of here. Oh, he's so mean to me. He's always like this. It's like my dad used to say. Anyway, day, I need you guys to go check the lighthouse for me. Yeah, but how do we get across? Oh, go talk to my friend Gabriel. He owns Chelsea. She can get you there. Alright, so our goal is to get to the lighthouse, it's over there, which is which is quite a bit of a journey. Now, we're supposed to go to the turtle to head to the area which allows us to start heading to the lighthouse. Let's see. It costs some money, but there's no currency in this game, so you can just you, just, you can just ignore that. And let's get going. Uh, that was a smooth ride. Yeah, right. Are you always like this? Oh yeah. Let's get on with it. Point the way. Alright, so I could have done this earlier, but there was not really any reason to. This girl was able to possess some creatures. You can, like, you can, you can uh, move them around, maybe use, use them for something. You can't really attack or anything.
collectibles. Let's see, got a little note on the wall right here. Black again, the bottom of the hill. Just watching the AIs trying to make their way to the bottom of the hill. There's a flag right over here. Okay. Alright, Sarsky. We're gonna learn Dash. This is this ability right here. You'll see some doors, you'll have to have like all three of your characters pass to get by at the top of the door is like a wooden plank. Well, once he steps a little closer, the door will open up. And there you go, checkpoint. Dead Devereaux's tent. I think that's about enough. Um, I, th I think I think this is a really beautiful game. The puzzles are simple, and if you know somebody else that has it, you can play together. <laughs> and as you've seen, it's kind of lin it's it's a fairly linear game. So you know, but there are some weaknesses to it in that aspect. But personally, I I enjoyed it. I like I like games. I don't really have to like take a exceptional moment I have to learn. In any case, uh, if you enjoyed, the link for this will be in the description. Thank you all for stopping by and have a wonderful day.